our cosmos as we've never seen it before. You're looking here at the largest, most detailed 3D map of the universe that's ever been compiled and it's just been unveiled. 11 billion years of cosmic history. A Canadian professor helped lead the charge in the creation of this wonder. If we take the distance from the Earth to the Sun as one unit, this map is a million billion times larger than that. Just ponder that. Whew, two decades in the making, this project, the team that involves scientists from all over the world, and the data that they're gathering, they hope, will help improve our knowledge about our universe and its expansion. Lots of exciting things going on in space for us this morning. This is a history-making moment for the United Arab Emirates, the country's first unmanned mission to Mars. A space probe launched earlier today on this Japanese rocket, and it's now making a 500 million kilometer flight to the Red Planet. The probe will orbit Mars to study its weather and climate. It's set to arrive next February, at the same time as events to mark the UAE's 50th anniversary. Speaking of exploring, this was the warm welcome home for a British Columbia man who just completed an astounding feat. Bert Terhart sailed around the world using only traditional navigational tools. He's the first North American to do that. It took him about nine months to complete. And he returned home to Victoria over the weekend where he began this odyssey, amazed, he says, to see just how many people came out to cheer his return. It's beyond special in the sense that, um, imagine if you did something extraordinarily difficult and everybody in the whole world was, was cheering you on, was pushing you to, to actually succeed. How powerful that is. To think about this, Ter Hart is returning to a very different world than the one he left those nine months ago, given the changes of COVID-19. He didn't know what to expect. Uh, really, but his sister had been keeping him up to date by satellite phone. He doesn't have to isolate for 14 days because he's already done that effectively for 264 days.